So in one of the, uh, the prior episodes, we talked about brands that got their start having to do with military contracts, uh, really for combat boots. And one such brand is uh, from the United States and is Allen Edmonds. Now, Allen Edmonds has a very special place in my view of shoes. Um, my very first um, dress shoes uh, when I was in college were floor shimes. <laughs> but uh, when I graduated from college and I had my first job and I decided I was going to get married, um, went to uh, Nordstrom's to buy a tuxedo, of all things. And the Nordstrom's guy said, hey, you need a good pair of shoes to go with this. You should buy a pair of shoes you can wear to work. And he suggested Allen Edmonds. And really, a, um, a passion for shoes grew out of that very first pair of Allen Edmonds. And, um, you know, I bought three more uh, right after I got back from my, my honeymoon. And uh, three more pairs, that is. And um, I, I really um, started collecting um, ever since. I was very loyal to Allen Edmonds. Uh, between the years 1997 and 2017, I didn't buy anything else. Um, so that's a long time, right? But um, they're great shoes. And um, I really, um, I feel like they've, they've really served me well over the years. And um, really um, famous for a couple types of leather, uh, which we'll talk about today. Um, and then we'll talk uh, a little bit about um, styles as well. But Allen Edmonds was founded in the 20s um, uh, between the wars, uh, the Great Wars, excuse me. And, um, you know, is one of the last great American shoe brands, um, good your welted shoe brands anyway, um, still in existence that manufactures any of their shoes in America. Although they do... Um, manufacture um, shoes now in Portugal and in India. Um, and, if, and they've had a, a long-standing relationship with the factory that they built in the Dominican Republic as well. So um, Allen Edmonds is also one of the only brands that I've actually visited the factory. And I'll include some of that uh, footage in here as well. But um, uh, just a, a really great, um, great brand. And um, you know, not not to the same standards of some of the other brands that I've started to um, really um, enjoy and go after over the last few years, but um, really very well-made shoes. And shoes that last, um, I've had seven pairs of Allen Edmonds that I have had remanufactured so many times that they no longer fit. And I think that that is uh, an interesting thing. Now, I also learned uh, over the course of uh, getting into shoes and, and talking to a lot of cobblers that that was because I was always having them remanufactured at the factory where the factory removes the welt and puts a new one on, which can affect the sizing. Uh, what a lot of cobblers do is they um, keep the welt and uh, simply sew on new soles. Um, they, you know, put new cork in and, and everything else as well. So it does... Uh, uh, it does change things a bit. So, but um, let's talk about material because I think material is always interesting. When you're looking at a shoe brand, uh, you want to find a shoe brand that has the ability, especially uh, something that you're going to kind of tie to for a long time. You want to find a shoe brand that has materials that you like. And um, we're going to start with two materials um, that I really focused on early on, okay? Um, which of course is the custom calf. Um, which is this, and you can see it has a lot of color variation in it. Um, I, I've done some burnishing on this, but just the leather itself is extremely high quality, both on the inside of the shoe and on the outside. Um, this is their standard sole, their open channel soles. They do, uh, they do a nice job. This is a factory second. You can always tell by the little uh, mark there. Uh, it looks like a shoe. Uh, if it has a hammer, that means it's been remanufactured. Um, but, uh, you know, they're, they're not always perfect. This is a, a factory second that is off a little bit on the, uh, um, this it's, it was just a little off center and that's why it's a second. So another split toe, big, huge double sole on this one, storm welt on this or split reverse welt as, as it's called. Um, so just a, a, a very different kind of a chunky split toe versus like a dress split toe. 
And then, um, and that's your custom calf. Now I've stopped with the custom calf on most of my other shoes. I think I have a pair of boots floating around here too as well from, from that. But um, I started after um, five, six years, um, I kept seeing, at, at first they had alligator and um, they had um, lizard and then they had this material, which is shell cordovan. Now, shell cordovan is not really leather. Um, and what I mean by that is not skin, okay? This is a membrane underneath the skin on the rump of a horse. Uh, every horse produces two shells and one shell is roughly the right amount of leather to make a pair of shoes in my size, which is an 11 US. And um, uh, if it's multiple pieces like this one is, uh, it might be able to make, you know, one and a half. But it's uh, because a horse only produces um, a couple pairs of shoes, um, it's expensive. Um, and uh, it, uh, it lasts a long time, but does require special care. And in the US, Allen Edmonds and Alden are the uh, main uh, makers that use it. Uh, in the UK, um, Gaziano and Gerling and uh, Crockett and Jones uh, both use it. You will see some other of the brands use it in um, uh, specific shoes. Trickers has a line. Um, there's um, a few uh, that they do in MTOs and Bespoke that use it. Um, Edward Green uses it. Um, uh, so it, it, is, it is out there. Um, now, in the U.S., mostly the color, especially with Allen Edmonds and Alden, it's color 8 or burgundy and black. Now, Allen Edmonds runs special um, Shell Cordovan events every couple of years or so. And so I picked up a pair in bourbon and green. And this is in marbled or what they call shaved um, burgundy. Okay, So they, they actually just like rub across the... Um, this at the tannery, not at the shoe factory, in order to get this marbling on it, which is kind of a cool effect. So um, nice, uh, nice different designs here. You can see this is a, um, a hole cut shoe that has a, um, a U throat on it. So it's not a hole cut, but it's one piece of leather on the outside of the facing here. This is a hole cut derby um, or called a blucher, okay? Um, so the plain toe blucher is um, the most common name for that. Um, this is a, um, a, a cap toe with medallion and broguing, so quarter brogue boot um, that is an Oxford, so it's an Oxford boot. Um, this is another type of material. Now, um, Allen Edmonds is uh, about two and a half hours north of the city of Chicago. And the city of Chicago is home to Horween, which is the tannery that makes the beautiful shell cordovan. But Horween is also known for this, another type of leather that they use, which is called Chrome XL. And um, this is a leather that uh, takes a beating and keeps on kicking. And um, both of these are um, have the oils tanned into the leather in such a way that you can actually move scuffs out using a deer bone or using your hand or a spoon or something like that. And um, so they're they're very interesting things. Now this is calf, um, and I believe it's chrome tanned, but I'm not an expert on that, I'm not sure. And uh, that's something that you can do. Now, Allen Edmonds has a lot of enthusiasts. They make a lot of shoes. Um, you know, I think that uh, when we were in the factory, they, they were talking about, you know, a few thousand pairs a week. And um, so they've got some enthusiasts like me who love shoes. And I picked up this pair just for the holiday season. So as we talk about Allen Edmonds, I think it's important to note that they don't just make shoes. Uh, they make uh, wallets, um, you know, portfolio pads, things like that, but they uh, belts, but they also make these very cool shoe trees. Now this is a boot tree uh, with a split um, split toe. Then they have this uh, expansion toe, large double barrel. And then I have this one here, known here. So they, they have a lot of different varieties of shoe trees, uh, but I have been in the factory and I've seen them actually cutting the cedar uh, in Port Washington. It's not in the same factory as the shoes, it's across the road, right? But it's not a, uh, 
It's not bad. And uh, you'll recognize these designs from shoe trees across many, many brands. And uh, I can only assume that that's because um, Woodlore, which is the brand of the company that they use, um, uh, which which is, again, owned by Alan Edmonds, um, Woodlore makes shoe trees for other brands. So um, kind of a cool piece that uh, you may not have known before. It's gonna make the cork smooth inside here. Smush it down to the last so we get like a really good clean last impression. And then also it helps us with the inseaming hole. It'll ro roll up that welt a little bit to cover the thread holes on the bottom here. Yeah, um, a few years ago we, we moved all of the hand sewns here from Massachusetts, right? Uh, Maine. Maine, and, and I know Rancourt took that stuff over. So um, what did you have to do for the cobblers here in order to bring them up to speed on that type of shoe? We trained some of them in Maine and then we brought a couple here, like Steve, the guy that was doing the rough rounding came over, his partner came over at the time and uh, helped us train there. Since then, we've moved all that to the Dominican Republic, and we just complete the hand sewn down there now. I got it, okay. 